Hey guys, Nolar here, back on the 5.9 Mobile channel, and today, Gale is joining me in looking at Octopath Traveler Champions of the Continent. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting. I think this is a, it's a first impression by us on the er, beta, I want to say? Closed, closed beta? beta? I can't remember yeah. exactly. Yeah, so we're in a closed beta. Um, we're going to see if we can... You know, you might see some censoring, you know, blocking out because we do have to agree to their TOS in order to be in the closed beta. Um, but with that said, Gail, you excited to check this out? Most definitely. I, I haven't played much of the original, but I do love the style that it uh, showed. And uh, it provides, I suppose, the very 2.5D esque, you know, the mixture of 2D plus 3D. And uh, I love my pixel games. So to be honest, I'm very excited to see how they've uh taken the game or the base game from octopath traveler and made it into this a gotcha game um this game isn't actually uh its first release because it's out in japan right if i'm not mistaken already nlr yep uh, about six to nine months at this point yeah mm -hmm. so i personally haven't looked into anything i've been i'm going into this completely blind i haven't seen anything from the jp side or anything of that sort so i have no idea how the game is going to be uh, obviously, it's fin just finished downloading. So, yeah, well, Nolar, you can uh, let us know if you've uh, actually seen some stuff from the JP side. Uh, yeah, so from what I remember, I was very excited, uh, mostly because I like the style, right? Uh, and I've been trying to play the original Octopath Traveler. Uh, when I mean trying, <laughs> I've restarted the game like three, four times because I start, <laughs> take a break, and then forget what exactly what happens. So start over again. Yeah, so... Um, the the game at least when i initially played the first 30 40 minutes of the game uh i was, looks like it's something up my alley it's like a jrpg turn based um and octopath so there's eight people eight different routes eight for different stories it seems like a cool thing um mixing it into a uh, a gotcha game seems like a good idea right um so mm -hmm. from what i understand the game is pretty popular but not like you know not we're not talking uma musume top popular but it is you know it has its audience and it knows what it uh, what it what it has, and um, there. I think the only criticism I've read about it is that there's only four, like it's a squad of four instead of potentially a squad of eight. Yeah. But we're gonna find that out for sure ourselves oh. here. Oh, are we uh, are we summoning off the uh, bat? Th th that's very quick. I must admit, good for rerolling, I suppose, if you can. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Okay. We, it's going from right to left. Interesting. Okay, a five. Okay, that was easy. Well, I, I guess I'm. <laughs> I mean, I, I assume this has to be a tutorial summon. I cannot believe my luck to be that that good. No way. Yeah, no, it has to know, be. I don't know, Gail. You. <laughs> I don't know, Gail. You you suck all my luck all the time because uh, you know, and I get left with nothing but shafts left and right. But um, Amen. okay, here we are. Yeah. Look again. The aesthetic. It's the pix pixel esque. Um, yeah. 2d 2.5d like art style it's pretty cool definitely i i really like it i'm uh, i'm always a fan of pixel games as well like um i still need to play all the final fantasy 1 to 6 pixel remasters because i've heard they're pretty decent um but no i i absolutely love it and getting it into a gacha game format is always going to be interesting especially if they can execute it right because at the end of the day you know there's a lot more to, to it than just art style right so okay so it seems pretty simple um flick to dash okay that's good glad to see that there's running tap while dashing to stop okay so you can just double tap and go this way oh nice i don't have to repress it to just change the direction okay this is very interesting um tap an icon to dash that point I mean, it seems some pretty simple overall stuff. What do you think about the design so far in terms of like the map basically so far? Can I? Uh, well, in the original game, I mean, you play with a controller, right? So here it's they're adapting a few different things for the touchscreen. So this makes sense to me. Um, and it, this is very much like, at least for the 30, 40 minutes that I played, it very much looks like the original game. Um, I guess it's telling you you gotta go up that way, but you're gonna go. Is it preventing you? When an arrow pulls, flick to turn. Oh wait, I pressed the wrong way. Yeah. So, so I can up. okay do that. So you can flick up to just change corners if you don't want to keep going in that direction, which is interesting. Yep. All right, your first battle, Gale. In before he becomes my pet dog. Never mind, he doesn't want to be my pet dog. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, hey, you know. You gotta hey, learn can, to battle. Can you pet the dog? No. <laughs> Clearly not. No. All right. So ooh, interesting. So you have a two times speed, of course, down here. 
you got your option setting you have no allies currently which is not a surprise attack okay basic attack there uh exploit yeah. weakness master weakness to gain the upper paw in battle sounds about right um oh my god okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey man you guys you, it is what it is oh break okay now this is the thing yeah, i personally breaking. don't i don't know about because i haven't properly played the original game uh you know fully at all i've only seen p other people play it here and there but not fully as well either i'm like i said i've been going into this game completely blind even based on the original game so seems like there's breaking um and reduce their shield point zero uh they cannot act until after the end of the next turn use this chance to deal large amounts of damage okay so that, that kind of reminds me of um kind of like how gbfs uh once you break their overcharge right so it's similar to that it seems yep. Uh, I mean, this is a very similar. It's a very standard uh, mechanic yeah. in, when it comes to Japanese RPG games, right? Mm -hmm. So same thing. So uh, this BP is, is which is like your mana. Oh yeah. wait, no, not your mana. Um. You, oh yeah, use to augment your powers, right? And then okay, swipe to the right to an action. So let's do boost. So off. Click on oh, him. First there. Yeah. Oh, you can boost it up to plus four. Can I not use this, please? No. Okay, fine. I'll do that. Let's see. Yeah, so the the BP oh. lets you like, yeah, it it lets you, lets you boost your whatever skill you want to use. So you, I think it's just turn by turn, if I remember, is what what it is. So obviously, you want to make sure you break them before you do anything else, right? Yep, yeah, no makes sense. And yeah, I was just looking at it. So that's how you change your um, the attack as well. Uh, when the perfect opportunity appears and itself, go all out with the party boost. Uh, using a party boost allows all characters acting this turn to consume all their BP and attack. You can, that's a good thing. Yeah, that's kind of nice if you can just use this and just automatically get everybody to attack at the same time. Um, yeah, again, that reminds me just like uh, Grand Blue Fantasy, right? Yeah. Like everyone's got their own gauge. And unlike in Grand Blue Fantasy, you have to have everyone at 100% and then you can like chain it and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But yeah, very similar to the combat style to Grand Blue Fantasy, but it's in this particular style and um art style i should say my well, man got my man got down. yeah my man got summoned to a blizzard and then just got killed literally <laughs> how's this happen then <laughs> all right what's happening traveler also i would say i'm hearing the japanese i have the audio in my ear I, you guys probably might not hear it because of music and our voices as well but I I am assuming they have brought in some big talents as well. I mean, I feel like nowadays gacha games just tend to do that consistently where they bring on these big VAs and whatnot into their game because it'll just sell well, right? Because the moment somebody like popular appears like uh, Sayori Hayami or somebody else, right? People will just go and summon for that unit because they're just voiced by that voice actor. So um, it does seem, I, I mean, I haven't looked into it. I don't know if they have been, but it does seem like they have got a good voice cast so far, though, even though I've seen only three people's voices so far. Yeah, um, and just for those of you who don't know too much of, uh, you know, voice acting and why it's such a big deal, um, in Japan, voice actors are treated like like A-list celebrities, right? Yeah. So, because um, they voice the, your favorite characters. And mm -hmm. um, that's why it's important to grab, you know, good names like high seeking popular names as much as you can um let me go see if i can okay so we have grab. a decision here wealth power or fame what do you want <laughs> a power power damn right <laughs> damn right power all right let's see what we got here power the strength to crush your foes a mighty blade to triumph on the battlefield okay and yet in the wrong hands the same Blade may be used to wound the innocent. That's rough. <laughs> Am I wrong? Though? You will, you who seek power will begin your journey in the snow-swept frontiers of the Frostlands. There you will cross paths with Titos, the hero, leader of the Scholar Rings, and a band of former criminals. He rules Emberglow with an iron fist. I wonder if, um, depending on which one you choose, you get a different character slash uh, kid, basically. I assume that's the case, right? Um, cause, uh, yeah, I would assume so. Yeah. Yeah. You are about to commence the tale of power from the Frostlands proceed. You may still play the other tales later. Yes, that's fine. So yeah, you can do the other ones yep. at a later point, which is good. Um, kind of reminds me of Tales of Luminaria to an extent, where it's more story-driven and there is a certain path you have to follow. It's not like kind of like 
oh, there's other events and stuff. So far, at least, it seems that way, right? Um, because I remember in Tales of Luminar Luminaria, it was just like these chapters that you just had to follow, and it was like a set set of characters, right? I assume it might be something similar to that then? Uh, well, in the, yeah, in the original game, you just pick, there's uh, eight different characters to pick, and you start with their story, and they all have different mm -hmm. stories, so different classes and whatnot, and then you kind of progress. I mean, again, I haven't gotten that far. I only got to like 45 minutes. But then eventually unite with the other seven characters and then you're all traveling in the same story. But the beginnings are all a little different. You know what I mean? Yep. Um, For sure. Three tales so far. Master of Wealth, Fame, and Power. So I assume these are the basic... Yeah, these are the guys we have to be. These are the end game boss, basically, then it seems like. Right. Um, so I think I sh there's a... If you could pull that up, Gail, I listed a few of the actors, voice actors. Yes. I'm One not second. going to attempt the names. Yeah, don't those. worry. So we have introducing voice side like Hikasa Yoko from Attack on Titan. Good. Koyama Rikia from uh, Detective Conan. Yeah, no, these are good voice actress, uh, actors and actresses. I think there's going to be a lot more as well, inevitably. I mean, you bring in some decent names in there and yeah, like these guys are pretty de decently well known. They're not like the upper echelons, like... Uh, um, you know, like I said, a Sayori Hayami or a uh, Kano Eda or whatever. These guys are still well known though. So as long as they can get bring in these guys consistently for this sort of stuff, that's good. Yep. Agreed. All right, what else we got? Yeah, I, I mean, the story, like I will say this intro is a little bit long. So if, you, if there is actually like a full on like gotcha element to it, <laughs> you you will be uh, taking your time re-rolling, I will say that, unless there is an inbuilt re-roll system, which... Actually, is there one? Do you know of that by any chance in LR? Uh, I don't know for sure. Um, the thing is, it's a very long... Just like the regular game, which isn't a gacha game, uh, there's a lot of story. So mm -hmm. it's a very story-driven game. And of course, being a gacha game, there's going to be events and things we need to grind, elements to, you know, level up, power up our characters now yeah so again it just reminds me of like um what, what would be it? Uh, like a uh final fantasy game you know final yep. fantasy like four that kind of thing which again if you're nostalgic or craving this style of game this is might be the gotcha game for you right yeah guide new travelers guide travelers and try to form a party of eight wait what i thought he said four <laughs> Oh, I think you can only take four in a battle. Ah, um, okay. There's chance encounter. So these are the uh, summons system. And rubies, rubies. Guide. Okay, so rubies are your current. This time, yeah. this time you'll get three predetermined travelers without spending any rubies. Okay, so they've already given it to us. We can't do anything about it. All right. Shall well, we that'll make your party for when you do for uh, battle, right? Yes. I, li I do like this summon screen, though. This ring, basically. I do wonder what will be the telltale signs in other situations, though. So that's silver. So I assume that's a four uh, star or oh, three star. Never mind. Huh. Well, well, the the ring was silver, but the uh, the animation was blue. So that's three star. Yeah. I'm assuming all these are three star. The Let's one that see. you got your initial character yeah, was yeah. a f was a yellow animation for the yes. five star. Oh, influence growth. Interesting. I See, this is the stuff I kind of dig in a game where there's some side, sort of like slight side objective for like, you know, ranking and stars and stuff. It's why I love Legends Arceus as well when it dropped and it had that whole Pokedex rank and stuff. Um, as you recruit yep. more travelers and progress to the story, your influence will increase. Uh, raise the ranks to receive rubies and traveler skills so that they'll improve uh, power and you can get more of that influence from talking to people in the town. Like that sort yep. of stuff. I always like that there's some sort of like additional thing you can do to like improve your uh units as well for sure as long as there's systems to keep you playing and they feed back into each other and all that kind yes. of stuff it's good right that, that sure. that's what is good about a gotcha system, gotcha game is that there usually are systems to keep your you mm -hmm. increasing the power level of your characters to really like get you something to do right yep. so i like um, this by the way as well where you kind of i mean it does become a little bit repetitive at a point like this is something that fco does and a couple of other games do, uh, do as well yeah it's like yep. once you summon them you can intro animations yeah. yeah intro animation sort of yeah basically which i kind of dig i always dig and it's always only when the new, when you get a new character so the that's first time fun. you get it yeah 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 again I, I think it's fine i mean again the the purpose of the game isn't just to Oh. Blitz your way through the thing, right? And, this is and, enter to be band a... name, five nine. Boom. 
<laughs> let's see. Let's see if they allow you me. have it. Hopefully they allow it, it to like us. Yes, let's go. <laughs> I was wondering because I was like, they said letters. So I don't know if there were numbers allowed or not, unless I missed it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Alphanumerical numbers. Yeah. Yeah. You never know. All right. Let's see. Because I just want uh, how to progress the story. First things first, choose a tail. Uh, pursue the glowing icon. Da, da, da. If you're taking a path there. Okay. So kind of reminds me that map kind of reminds me of how, you know, uh, how, what, what? Epic Seven's Labyrinth. That was that's what it yeah. kind of reminds me of. Yeah. So you follow these paths and true. like go go in a certain direction. All right. So let's have a look. See now we got mail. Always good to get mail. Have we got mail? Dev team. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Dev team. Thank you. <laughs> I was about to say, bro. The, where, where's my? Where, is that it? Really? Come on, devs. I, I, I wonder what the the rates are what the currency draws we'll, we'll so. find out in just a second we got 200 rubies i cannot wait for it to be like just 100 less because i think it is 100 less yeah it is 100 less god damn it um awakening unleash <laughs> powers from the heavens unlocking a traveler's hidden potential using items is called awakening uh click da -da -da. is this uh dupes or how exactly are we so character awakening stones ah yeah so the uh, you need oh, there's to use... a difference yeah there's a difference yeah. i assume Okay, fair enough. When you awaken a character, the stages rises, so they get all these skills and bonuses, basically, which is good. Um, they get obtained special items, which I kind of dig as well, because that's something that I like about Gen uh, not Genshin, sorry, uh, Evgo, is where when you reach max friendship with them, you get basically a certain amount. So this is Chosen Traveler Millard. So this is a rate up banner, right? So let's see what the rates are. Yeah. Because this will give us an idea of how the game is. Because we got summon right now. We are 100 less, so it's unfortunate. Um, so Millard is uh, uh, f uh, featured right now. Featured. Um, okay, so you can get a 4-star variant or the 5-star variant. So this kind of reminds me of like a... Uh, what game would it be very reminiscent of? Um, th I know there's certain games uh. that... Are, I, Blazing d used to do this. I remember Blazing where you would get like... Uh, you could possibly get the SR version or you could get the SSR version of a, a certain character. And they were the same, basically. Yeah, uh, this this is the uh, Marvel Contest of Champions. That they too. Have, they have a one star all the way to a six star of the exact same character. It's just different rarities. Yeah. So, so featured um, seems to be 0.4 and 0.8 percent respectively, which is kind of interesting that the five star is a higher rate than the four star feature rate. But in, that's that's new for me personally. Um, let me see. Ten guide guidance rate. So there seems to be a difference between that. Uh, what's the difference between uh, doing a multi Slots and... 1 through 10. Yeah, it doesn't seem um, to be any difference. Not in terms of the rates, but I'm sure there's a guarantee. Let's take a look real quick at the bottom. Yeah, I'm let's look at all the... Uh, okay, yeah. so... The individual guidance rates of the characters that may appear when guiding will be shown up to the five, fifth decimal place. Yep, yeah, okay, fine. That's not a problem. A character will be randomly se selected every time you guide. Therefore, even if you guide a certain amount, number of times, a specific character... Okay, this is just telling us that... Oh, yeah. It's yeah. RNG, buddy. It's RNG. <laughs> um, you will automatically receive guide stones instead. So, yeah, the guide stones slash awakening stone stuff is basically for um, dupes. The, that's the dupe system. Awakening yep. is dupe system, basically. Um, the guide may be held again after the period ends. So, nothing there. Bonus details. Uh, okay, so this is the pity it looks like guide one time to gain the above bonuses Wait, is it only Wait, no, oh. maybe it's not the pity then Details fragment millard can be traded for an item at the exchange. I mean, let's look at the exchange To exchange It's loading will it load? Uh, make good use of extra guide stones and items in your pos pos possession. Sorry, I I need. Hey, listen, I have to. I have to back check back every yeah. meow and then. All right. So I guess you can just use it to get. Okay, you can exchange to get his guide stones basically and stuff. Interesting. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Cool. Okay, that's Go to that's get shards. That's of interesting. Trade. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I dig it. I absolutely dig it. Um. Chance encounters is pretty much the same, and uh, yeah, I, I mean the rates aren't don't seem too bad. 0.4 and 0.8, specifically 0.8 for the five star. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I mean most games rate uh featured uh you know rates are like 0.3, 0.4 to be fair. You know, so I I'm I'm okay with that. Yep. 
let's check the news if there's anything there. I mean, I'm kind of disappointed in them giving only 200 rubies. Uh, it, there's no reason for that, but okay, buddy. Um, <laughs> they could have been a bit more kinder <laughs> about that. All right. So path actions yeah. interact with townspeople to make your journey easier. Da, da, da. So, okay, that's interesting. Uh, you can basically, uh, wait. Influence type, ne wealth, negotiate with leaves, power, negotiate through battle, and fame, negotiate through probabilities. All right. That sounds right up our alley as gotcha gamers, to be honest. Yep. All right. I mean, I kind of dig it. How are you finding the game so far, Nalar? I mean, look, I, it's a little slow because it's more story driven, right? So there's a lot of dialogue, but if that's the kind of experience you're looking for, then I'm that's totally cool. Yeah, no, for sure. So, I completely agree. I, it just seems very interesting so far. To say the least and um okay so we'll take this quest let's just go d deep dive in um but yeah no i have to agree with you it is definitely a little bit slow um i will say the gotcha side of things it definitely seems nice at least though in in terms of the rates and stuff um i'm curious to see the income of currency as well though before you know jumping to conclusions because that's what makes the difference and we have to remember this is a closed yep. beta it could change I don't know if it'll drastically change, but it could change. Right. Yeah. Uh, the closed beta is mostly for any bugs or issues or, you know, feedback that we can give them. So, yeah. you know, Gail is the one playing right now. He'll be playing through it. And I, I imagine he'll put some time into it to, you know, give a fair shake at it. And down the line, if it's uh, within the TOS, we'll make a follow up video when the beta closes, give you our thoughts on it, what we hope to see yeah. change. Um, and what, you know, maybe they need to loosen up the reins on a couple of things or tighten yeah. things up, whatever the case may be. The feedback we give them is some potentially something you guys will hear as well. So for sure. I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, I think that's uh, this is like, obviously, it's at point nine. I think that was the version number. So it's really close to release. I assume we'll probably get in the next couple of months. So frankly speaking, I think whatever changes they'll do is kind of minimalistic changes and then of course when we do give them the feedback for the major changes they'll happen sooner rather than later because they now know already know about it from their uh testing team which is us basically well us as in i and other beta testers not not nolar and i only <laughs> yeah yeah there's a lot of beta testers out there uh, people who have access to it which is gonna be good you know developers mm -hmm. need feedback outside of themselves so I will be can, interesting to see. I can already tell one thing that I would like personally. Well, that's a notification that doesn't need to be there. Um, the one thing I will say that I really would like in this game is a skip button. Um, like I personally would read through the story sometimes. More often than not, I will. But, you know, if I'm like in a rush or if I'm like doing something else that I don't... I'm not like... I, I need to get going quickly. If I don't want to read it or something, I want to read it at a later point. I'd rather just skip it now and then come back to it at a later point through like maybe a in-game thing or I can just watch it on YouTube. So maybe a skip button for story purposes would be nice. Yep. Yep. Understood. I, I agree with that as well. All right. Let's see if the, there's anything here because I, right at this point, it's just story. I probably should have probably continued on just moving left instead of this, but um, I'm curious to see where it goes from here. Um, because it was only a level 6 quest, it seemed like, and it gave us 100 uh, influence, I think, in power. Yeah, I'm just looking around. I was just like, in case I missed it personally, like a skip button randomly in the top right or something. But no, uh, it just seems like you have to power through it, basically, which is also fair, but nobody likes doing that. Come on. Not in this day and age. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you're right, you're right. Master um, of Power, the Scarlet Tyrant. Yep, chapter one as well. So there, there's going to be multiple chapters to each tale. There is three tales, it seems like, right? Um, yep. So you can uh, experience different parts of the story and everything, which is good. I always say, uh, you know, I'm glad that there's multiple routes already in this game. I assume they will add more in the future as well, over time as well, which is which would be fantastic as well, because it'll just add more to the game. Like you said, it extends the life cycle. But... Overall, I'm liking the game so far. It's just the uh, it just needs that skip button. I will say, uh, considering all things said and done. Yep, yep, yep. Mm. Because yeah, this is a long story. I will say. I mean, I didn't expect them to literally have such a long story in a gacha game as well. To be fair, and when I say long, I mean 
there are long stories in gacha games and everything you look at genshin and fgo and stuff but like there's no like a lot of what gachas do they have stopping points right because they they get you in there's a battle or you move around or something and then you continue the story here is just like one con continuous lengthy dialogue you know a dialogue slash conversation going on so that's i think one of the more valid reasons to have like maybe a fast forward button or an auto like read thing or something because you have to continuously tap as right. well so uh, that's the only reason why i'm saying it i'm i know i'm probably harping on a lot about that whole point but it is a valid point like not a lot of people are going to be just sitting here and tapping all their way on a mobile game yeah i i a good compromise instead of just a full skip button would be just an auto mode so like yep. yeah okay let me not have to tap 50,000 times to get to the next point of battle you know what i mean yeah um, exactly. if they want to read those stories so that's fair but yeah i mean uh, do we want to wrap up or do you think you want to add anything else to this well look uh i have no idea where we're gonna see another battle here um we kind of saw it earlier but clearly um you know gail's gonna have a full team so we might just put that out just as a, yeah. a little short, but we'll just wrap up here. Um, so, guys, this is our first impressions of it. I think it looks really good. Um, again, to the biggest takeaway for me and everybody else is it's very narrative driven. So mm -hmm. this is not something you're going to be playing five minutes on the bus ride, right? If you're yeah. going to sit there for like half an hour to go through stuff, that's what it's going to be. Um, and you need to be kind of in the mood for it, right? Or like in the right environment to really enjoy it. Otherwise, like if you just need something quick in five minutes, this is not the game you want. Or maybe down the line when you're just grinding stages um, yep. for resources and whatnot. Yeah, maybe that's it. But but as it stands, like the beginning looks pretty similar to the game you play on PC or on your Switch, right? Like mm -hmm. that's what it looks like to me. Again, I haven't got that far, but yeah, overall, I'm excited for this game. It should be... Um, you know, right now we're in the closed beta and we'll see if they'll do an open beta and if they're going to do a full up release soon after that. But uh, yeah, yeah, Gail, any thoughts uh, to close it out? No, I'm very much digging this game so far. Like you said, it's very narrative driven. Like I'm, I just, I just got out of that whole dialogue and they're still telling me to go probably do more dialogue. So I'm going to uh, take care of it in my spare time. And then of course, if we find get into a battle sequence, we might see it, put it up on screen here. Um, maybe we'll give it to whoever's editing this video and they can just put it up on screen or whatever. Um, um, but overall, I'm kind of digging it. There seems to be a lot there. As you can see, there's main stories, side stories, traveler stories. So you probably have your, you know, character stories. Basically, that's what the traveler stories are, I assume. Um, and then side quests and main quests. So it's very RPG-esque, which is great. Um, I feel like that's per personally my go-to experience for gacha games. I always love RPGs and, uh, you know, those turn-based style games always will. So for me, this is great. It's got great promise. Um, definitely does need that skip button though. I will keep harping on about that because, or maybe some like middle ground basically, right? But I'm still digging right. it. It does seem like a lot of fun and um, it looks good. It looks very, very good. No complaints from my end. No complaints from my end at all so far, at least. Yeah, so uh, you guys let me know. Have you guys played the original Octopath Traveler on the Switch or on Steam? Uh, do you, are you looking forward to the game? Because... To me, I never played it, but I am looking forward to this game quite a bit. And uh, yeah, comments down below, you know, when do you think it'll be out? All that good stuff. If you're new here and want to see more mobile gacha gaming stuff, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you know when we go live. And of course, share this with everybody, you know, your friends, your mom, you know, everyone. It helps us out. So with that said, I appreciate everybody here uh, on behalf of myself and Gail. Thanks a lot. We'll catch you on the next one. We're out. Bye-bye.